If you don't know who Ryan Trahan is, then you must be living under a rock. Ryan Trahan is a YouTuber who typically does stuff like challenges and high stake videos. His latest series of videos is called The Penny Challenge and he's been absolutely crushing it on YouTube in terms of subscribers and viewers. He managed to pull in 2 million subscribers in one single month. So in this video we're going to be breaking down Ryan's style and how he's been able to gain so much traffic and bring it to his channel. We're going to be talking about three key things. First is his Hey, <laughs> You thought I was going to show you guys it. <laughs> Oh no, you have to wait. You have to wait till you get further in the video. All right, so number one is his filming style. So we can see Ryan going through all of his vlogs, doing it more so in a vlog format, but also doing it in uh, different shots. He has some like two people as a crew. One is editing, one is filming that help him do this penny challenge series, but he's also been doing some of it himself. So he's done some of the vlogging, some of the still shots, and he's been able to pull all this together with these two other people as well. He's mainly doing this handheld vlog style, but he's also bringing you along through different scenes such as like landscapes, cities, different stuff like that, and him going along and through all of these. Let's take a look at some of his videos. So let's look at his most recent video where he actually delivers the penny to Mr. Beast. So you can see that he's filming some shots that are just stationary, but some are more close up and they feel more personal. He's also showing multiple shots of him um, doing stuff. So he's flipping the camera around while also filming himself. And he's been mixing this up to make it really super interesting. I've watched like all 30 days of these and um, they've been super entertaining to watch. He's done such a great job with the editing and uh, the filming and just it all tied together so well and it makes you want to watch it over and over again because it's kind of like a tv like series or something like that he's doing some vlogging on his phone i believe i think he's been doing it on i think he has like an iphone 13 pro max from what i've uh, observed i have the 13 pro and it does a very good job with video so it looks like it's done a really good job he gets really super up close sometimes which is fun to see because he's pretty funny um and it's just so quirky it just feels like it's it's his style so he's showing some shots of him boarding on planes, getting transportation, different stuff like that, ordering food. He orders McDonald's all the time, but he's done a really great job of bringing the viewers along and making you feel like you're actually there. This is sometimes very hard to achieve with most um, YouTubers to make sure that their audience feels kind of included and brought along on the journey with them. This doesn't apply to all YouTubers like educational or, you know, sometimes it's hard to do that. But like in the YouTube entertainment genre, it's it's a very good idea to maybe shake things up, pick up the camera and start vlogging a bit and get different clips from both different types of filming styles. All right, let's dive into his editing. So his editing is not his own. He's hired someone, um, I don't know if it's a friend or whatever, I think his name is like Preston or something like that. People's audience retention or how long they'll stay on a video has gone way down. So you definitely have to make sure that you keep things fast paced on YouTube so that you keep your audience watching longer, which will give you more watch time. It's super interesting because he's created uh, so many like styles within the first 17 seconds. It's like there's always something new, whether it's him him just talking to the camera or him overlaying his audio on the clips and adding b-roll in so if you don't know what b-roll is it's kind of like a break up from your normal like talking head videos or something like that if you're talking and you put some shots over it that's called b-roll it kind of breaks up the same flow of the video and gives the viewer something new and interesting to look at. I hope I explained that correctly. He's kind of left some things uh, in there and I think it kind of adds to like the vlog style and how like realistic it kind of seems like you feel like you're there with him like watching this you feel like you're right there traveling along with him for 30 days. It's a really neat experience and I think that's why I did so well on YouTube. Also using a lot of b-roll and graphics definitely help to change the video when you uh, feel like you've changed like angles a lot and different stuff like that. It can help to add some graphics and what I like to call breakups in your video to where you can divert the attention off of one shot and put it on another so you can kind of break up uh, your main video and not make it as boring because if you just saw like a video of me just talking like this the entire time it wouldn't be that interesting unless i had cut to where i had a zoom up on my face or um maybe like a slow zoom up or different sound effects b-roll 
and graphics. The last thing I will say is that he's definitely had a lot of clips to work with. So the editor probably had a ton of footage to work with, which he did a very good job with. So you can see multiple clips are changing like every second or uh, not every second, but like every like three to four seconds. And there's about a new clip. His videos are normally like 17 minutes long, something like that. There's a couple that are about the same range, but he's done a very good job of editing all this together and definitely kept the pace moving. I haven't lost interest when I watch these. I watched like the entire 30 days and was like addicted to watching it because he did it so well that it was like a TV show. All right, so let's break down the third one, which is his storytelling. So Ryan does an amazing job of storytelling. If you could not tell, he definitely has a couple moments where he leaves you in suspense and he makes you wait to find out um, what happens, which I think is definitely um, one of the keys on YouTube for audience retention. But I think that's because he's kept the viewers watching all the way till the end because they want to get to that part. Of course, some people might skip ahead, but it's kind of hard not to skip ahead when you have so much stuff um, flashing before you. Like there's so many cuts and stuff. It makes it really interesting and it kind of just really cooks you in. Also, you can definitely see the progression of him making money throughout uh, his day. He goes from oftentimes one penny and progresses up to like $30, $60 a day, something like that. And then some of the suspenseful parts or when he gets reset back to a penny. It kind of keeps the viewers wanting to watch because you like don't want that to happen, but at the same time you kind of do because it like gives the video a higher stakes. I definitely think that he definitely thought that through very well and use that as kind of like a suspense mechanism for his video. Ryan definitely keeps his videos fun and fresh by going to different locations, different scenarios. He does repeat some of his money making methods a couple times, but it's also interesting because he vlogs just about every single one of them and all of his experiences are new. And it's just really cool to see the progression of him from the start all the way to the end. So Ryan, good job. You definitely done a fantastic job with your video series and I think that his video series if he does something like this again will go very far and also he's gained a lot of subscribers from this he has 10.3 million subscribers as of filming this video so if he does this type of thing and kind of re-engineers that same um kind of framework that he used for these videos I definitely think that he will get um, a massive amount of views like he did this first time but if you haven't subscribed to his channel he has a super cool channel definitely encourage you guys to go subscribe it's definitely great for a laugh and he's super entertaining super down to earth guy so it's super fun to watch and i encourage you guys to go watch it and subscribe to him also that reminds me of someone else that you should subscribe to which is me if you guys want to subscribe down below you can and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up hit the bell notification and that would be super awesome